The War of 1812 is deceiving. For one thing, there's actually a few misconceptions around the conflict. The war actually lasted from 1812 to 1814, not just one year. And despite what many Canadians think, we didn't burn down the White House, and we actually kind of didn't even win the war. So the idea that this conflict created 200 years of peace with our neighbor to the south isn't completely true either. And to make matters worse, the federal government is encouraging these misconceptions to make the war a little more glorious. Somebody really should stand up and fight for these facts. In the last year, the Canadian government released a commercial on the War of 1812, which is more like a Hollywood film than an actual informational video. Sure, it would make a good film, I'll give them that, because it was epic, action-packed, cool, with lines of redcoats ready with their muskets and bayonets fixed. But here's the thing. War isn't cool. It's not supposed to be glorious. Sure, the War of 1812 was the fight for Canada, but there wasn't anything cool about it. Let's look at the situation a little more objectively. People on the border didn't want a war. They had family members on both sides. And in fact, in the British colonies at the time, there was a lot of Americans who had recently immigrated to what was now Canada. Government buildings weren't the only things being burned too. Homes, barns, and lifestyles were torched as the war ravaged the countryside. Economic activity came to a standstill. People were in poverty. And the war even threatened to tear the United States in two. This isn't some glorious Hollywood movie. It's a pretty depressing film. And war should never be glorified. Just ask any modern veteran. Like the War of 1812, like World War I, World War II, Korea, and Afghanistan, were all about sacrifice. It was about protecting people, their families, their homes, their lifestyles. Simply because 200 years have passed doesn't mean the nature of this wartime sacrifice was any different. We should remember that this conflict shaped Canada. In addition to the British troops, Fighting in this colony, regiments raised in Canada exhibited the same diversity we have today. People of British, Scottish, French, Italian, German, Polish, and Aboriginal ancestry all were fighting in this colony to defend their homes. This is what we need to remember this bicentennial. So let's stop all the glory, pomp, and ceremony about the War of 1812 and instead take a page out of the month of November. It's time to remember those who sacrificed their lives to create the nation that we know today.